One o'clock. All right. Good luck. Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. I want to thank you for tuning in to my channel today. Me and my buddies Lee and Doug, we are having a 1v1v1 today out on the Chowan River. As y'all can see, it's foggy as hell. I made a very, very short, slow run uh, from the boat ramp uh, to a creek that I'm going to start in. The water temps are around 56, which is a little bit lower than what I thought. I was kind of planning on throwing some top water first thing this morning. Might throw it a little bit, but that's 56 is getting down to the temps where I kind of get away from it a little bit. But uh, I'm going to start in this creek, see if we catch some, and we're kind of going to go from there. We're fishing till 1 o'clock. It's 648 right now. So let's go ahead and start in here. Let's see if we can catch one. That's the thing about these fall mornings is just uh the fog a lot of times can be terrible and uh you gotta you gotta go slow you gotta take your time it's stuff floating all in the river everywhere what are we gonna start off with let's see i'm gonna start off throwing a spinnerbait right now out here kind of around the mouth and it just uh i don't know that fish just broke right up at the mouth right there but yeah, I don't know what these fish are doing. It's been a couple weeks since I've been here. They will kind of stack up at the mouth a little bit. Some kind of fish over there completely out of the water. I don't know what the heck that is. I don't know what the heck kind of fish they are over there. I'll tell you what, if they're bass cutting, might be bass. Could be a school of bass. Put a popper over there. Ooh. And I'm throwing this on the rod that I won, the rod and reel that I won in that two day classic. I broke my freaking I got him. It's a bass. So basically we got a school of feeding bass out here. Oh, it's a striper. Check that out. That's pretty darn cool. Get in here. So that's what they are. All right, first fish of the morning. Take that. First fish on the new rod. We got line wrapped all around everywhere. Go back out there and see if we can get us another one. Hopefully that sun goes ahead and comes up and burns all this fog off. Cause if not, it's gonna it's gonna suck a little bit. Yeah, that's a big school up there. This is good. this is fun. Oh, it just popped off. Just popped off. There's one. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Oh, that's a bass. That's a darn large mouth. He's not a keeper, but they're up there schooling with him. There you go, little guy. Get back in there. I was just resetting my GoPro, and this is a bass too. I don't think he's gonna keep though. He might, he's long. That's a long fish. I don't think he is though. Not quite. 13 and a half. 
Oh my god, they're coming all up right here. That's a small, that's a small bass. That's a little guy. Yep, that is a little guy. He come up and ate that sucker though. He choked it, I mean. <clears throat> Get back in there, buddy. A keeper day, it's not. Come off. They're here, though. They're here. Just that slow, slow popping. That's a big one. Oh my god. I just missed it. I completely missed that fish. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one there. Don't come off. That's a, yeah, that's a keeper. Just do got him. Ooh, there we go. He's a keeper. I believe he's a keeper. All right, let's put the pole down. Yeah, that's a keeper. I believe we just got number one. Out here off this point, there's a just a massive school of fish right here. He won't coming off. I could have I could have flipped that sucker. Alright, I don't know if that sucker's 14 or not now. Oh yeah. Keeper number one. All right. He's a small guy, but we will take him. We'll put him on this side. So there's number one. There's keepers out here. All right. It's probably some big fish. Holy shit. It's probably some big fish mixed in with these fish, I'm sure. But we just gotta get them to bite. This fog is unbelievable, y'all. Just, I mean, you can't see, you can't see anything. I'm running along, y'all can see it five mile per hour i'm just easing along i'm gonna go to this creek uh right here mud creek and it's just it is it is bad this fog is really bad you gotta be really careful when you're fishing in conditions like this i know this river well but you don't you don't run in stuff like this floating logs other people you could you could just over a fish, you could just ruin your life. It's, it's not worth it. All I can hope is there's a good group of fish on this point willing to come up and eat top water. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. This is a pretty big flat going into the, into the creek right here. I think the creek is right here in front of me, according to the GPS anyway. Hell, I can't tell. All right, so just picked up the frog up in this creek. 
I think the fog might is going to lift in the next 30 minutes. I sure hope so because it's 918 right now. And I'm not, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I don't, I don't know. There should be some fish in this creek. I don't know if I should be flipping for them today instead of throwing top water. That's the only thing. But we're gonna fish through a little bit and we're gonna we're gonna throw this. We're gonna throw this frog and see if we can get bit. And then we are gonna make a move if that damn fog will lift. But Lee said he's got one about two and a half pounds. Said he caught it on a crankbait. And mine is shoot, 14 and a half inches or so. Which I did miss some fish up there earlier that were that were pretty good in that school, but. Oh man, I can finally almost see. Finally almost see. We have got to, we have got to get on something. I gotta get something to eat. That might be what's, what my problem is. Let's see what the heck we got in here. Muffins up right there. Game over, unicorn cake game over for them once i eat this it's over all right let's make a damn move So there was a couple guys in a bass boat on the point that I wanted to start on. So I'm gonna actually start down here. I gotta put my finesse worm on. I got the big finesse worm on and I don't want that big sloppy sucker up there right now. I just want regular old, well, I said finesse worm, it's not a finesse worm, regular old trick worm. So I gotta retie too. But we're gonna fish, we're gonna fish this a little bit kind of deep to start off with. We're gonna throw off the shore, fish kind of like 20 foot depth range somewhere in there and hopefully get some of these fish that are sitting out. As a keeper, get up in here. There we go. All right. That's a fat old chunky keeper. All right. He ain't big, but he's a keeper. And right now, that's what we need is keepers. All right. Yeah, baby. Good deal. These are definitely bass that I'm seeing. A hundred percent. All right. I'm gonna fish up in this creek. I'm gonna throw the frog. And this is probably gonna be where we uh, we finish up. I'm gonna throw the frog the rest of the time. I don't give a damn what I come up on. Throwing the frog. I caught a freaking six pounder in here one day in a tournament, a six four, and it spit up a blackbird in my live well. Just a little fun fact for y'all. That was pretty freaking crazy, but he spit up a bird, a blackbird in my live well. So maybe he's like 10 pounds now. Maybe he swam back down here and he's, he's probably 10 pounds actually. Cause it's been a while. It's been uh, probably five or six years since, since that happened.
Absolutely pitiful. Man, well, all we can do is go up there and see what, what old Lee and Doug did. I know Lee stayed in the Chowan all day, so I don't know if he struggled as bad as me, but Doug did go into Meharan, so I think he's got a much better shot at having a decent limit. We'll find out right here in a second. Well, I'm idling out of the back of this uh, pocket that I finished up fishing and my time is up so i only got two keepers definitely not going to be enough to get the win today i don't know what lee has lee had like one two pounder earlier in the day when i talked to him doug's probably got him so he did go into my heron uh this morning and you know he, he probably had a better chance of catching him than than we did in the chowan the chowan's very low and today was extremely tough so we're going to run on back to the ramp Hopefully somebody's got a big old fish for me to show y'all because I definitely didn't catch one. But uh, we're gonna take the old Ranger back and put it on the trailer and see what everybody's got. I got Kevin. Wait that's all i got right there them two here we're, we're, we're waiting with doug's game all right all right 2.86 we're gonna see what lee's got all right lee had what was it? 2.31. 2.31 and Doug had 6.12. 6 All right. So Doug had 6.12. I had 2. Point something just under 3 pounds. And then Lee had 2.31. So a little bit tough on us today. I'm not going to lie. So. It is what it is. All right, damn if it won't tough out there today. The water was extremely low. It was blown out. We noticed that right as we were putting the boats in. And, you know, a lot of times when the water gets low out there, the fishing gets extremely tough. I was hoping for that tree bite, uh, you know, to, to be able to flip those trees. And with the water pushed out like that, a lot of times it pulls them out on the front of the flats and it can make fish kind of hard to locate. The fog really, really hurt me. I wanted to make a pretty long run to a shoreline, you know, first thing in the morning, was not able to make that run. I wanted to run back to where I caught that really nice bag in the tournament the prior week, and I just wasn't able to do it. Way, way too foggy. It was super dangerous. We all decided to go ahead and take off and go fishing, but we just, you know, we went extremely slow, and I stopped at an area that was very, very close to the boat ramp that could have really paid off. You know, caught those fish schooling, which was kind of cool first thing in the morning. It was a couple nice fish in that school. Missed a couple bites that would have really helped me out. But, you know, it, it is what it is. It was just tough. Overall, it was a very tough day. As y'all can see for me, for Lee, and for Doug, none of us destroyed them. But Doug took the win. He ran up into my heron. Uh, he caught a lot more fish than me and Lee did, so congrats to him. We're going to be doing some more of these 1v1s throughout the winter, so I hope y'all enjoyed them. I know y'all have told me that you have. So uh, go check out some of my other videos. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Gunfish TV.